This is an overview of the cloud-based business and communications dashboard. This is a dashboard that will allow you to control and manage all of your internet tools for business, for management, and for communication. Across the top of the dashboard is the pages bar. And you can see here there's a start page, a tools page, social media page, a content page, websites, and then the rest are actually editable and you can make those pages anything you want and add the controls that you want to those pages. Each page has a number of controls on it. You can see here this is the start page and every one of these is a control. There's the image widget or control. There's a control for Google Voice, a control for a customer relationship manager, a control for the email, your email inbox, control for contacts, control for web-based documents, to-do lists, uh, your, all the past chats that you've had, a place to make web notes, and there are hundreds and hundreds of these controls available. This is where you can search for widgets or for controls to add to the custom pages that you have on your desktop. You can see here these are all news uh, widgets or controls, USA Today, Wall Street Journal, ESPN, Google and Yahoo News, Financial Times. These are essential widgets where you, that you can set up on your dashboard for Google Analytics, for the weather, to do social searches, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn searches, to do video searches, to set up any, any internet mail that you use, whether it's Hotmail, AOL, Live, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, you can set all those up so all that is available to you right through your dashboard. This is a page where you can go and manage the colors and the theme of your dashboard. And then here you can actually set up a private and then a public dashboard. So if you want to have a dashboard, let's say for your company, that all your employees can use, you can make a public dashboard that they can all go and have access to and use together. And then you can also still have your private dashboard. So this is the start page. And I've showed you these are the controls on the top of the start page. Then as you scroll down the start page, there are more controls here. Google bookmarks, sending text messages from your desktop, auto backlinking, search engine indexing, RSS feeds, uh, hard drive, Evernote, note taking, Skype. All of this you can access and control right through this one dashboard. And here's the bottom page, which are a lot of other controls for Google Alerts, for your calendar, for your YouTube channel, for your main website, if you want to manage a custom search engine. All these tools that business people use and should be using are available all just from this one page. Now if we take these controls one at a time, the image widget, in this case I actually created an image out of a daily calendar and put it right here so this shows up in the corner of my desktop or my dashboard every time I open it. Then there's the inbox, and I have it set so it only shows unread messages. So every time there's new unread messages, those pop right up in the dashboard. Then there's the control for Google Docs, which actually shows you right here in the widget your last five documents, Google Docs, that you've used. And then you can create a new document or a new presentation. And then you can actually go right to your Google Docs if you like. Then there's a to-do list that you can edit and use over and over and over again, built right into the dashboard. Google Voice, where you can, if you use Google Voice, you can check and listen to all of your voicemails and your text messages and reply to those. Zoho is a great free customer relationship manager. This connects you right to your customer relationship manager from your dashboard. Contacts management. Uh, Google has a good contacts management program, and you can see this control in the dashboard actually lists and gives you access to all your contacts right through the dashboard. This is set up so you can actually use this control where you only see emails from a certain person. So if you have an assistant or a number one referral partner or client, you can set it up so when you click on that control, it only shows their emails. Internet chat. Um, a lot of people don't even know that your chats stay stored online forever. 
unless you go back and delete them. So you can pull up all of your past internet chats if you're looking for information or you want to remember what you did, what you chatted with someone about. Another web note where you can cut and paste information into this note and it will stay right on your dashboard until you either delete it or change it. Uh, social media auto updater. This links you right to Hootsuite where you can go in and simultaneously update Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and WordPress all at one time. Put a post in, click a button, and it'll update all five social networks right through your dashboard. You can send and receive text messages. This is really handy. It's a lot easier to type text messages and communicate with people on their phones from your laptop or your desktop than it is to do it from your phone. And this free system that is not that is connected here actually gives you a free text phone number that you can use to text and receive texts at. This is on the dashboard also, and it automatically creates up to 500 backlinks per day to the website, blog, or link of your choice. This is also free, and it does auto-indexing, where it will take a blog post or a website or a or, um, or a blog link and it will automatically index it through anywhere from 50 to 100 search engines just by clicking a button and this is you can access this right through the dashboard Google contacts control takes you right to your Google contacts it, it shows them on the dashboard but then you can also go right to Google contacts if you want to uh, check out your groups or find someone right in Google contacts your internet bookmarks. This is handy because oftentimes you store bookmarks in a browser and then your browser is either at home or your office or it's on a different computer and you don't have your bookmarks. This way you all your bookmarks follow you around right built into your dashboard. This allows you to share your desktop with up to a 12 people at once. I often use this when I'm showing people the dashboard and how it works because they can see my desktop and I can show them everything in real time. This, this takes you to Evernote, which allows you to capture PDFs, uh, documents, images, text, emails, anything you want to capture, and then it syncs it across all your devices instantly. Your iPhone, your iPad, your Droid Pad, your PC, your Mac, whatever it is you're using, all the information is available anywhere. Your, this is actually Google's hard drive, but this there's all kinds of web-based hard drives now where you can store all your information, music, video, images, documents. This gives you a direct link to that right from your dashboard. Your RSS feeds you can access right through the dashboard. Another, you can put in as many web notes as you want. So if you want multiple web notes on a certain page, you can have that to keep track of different projects that you're working on. Uh, in, in internet video conferencing, you can in, in internet video conference with up to six people at a time. As you can see here, there's five below and one in the one main person, and th that main person switches every time someone speaks, and they become the main person. So you're video conferencing with six people, and this control from the dashboard allows you to set up one of those six-person internet video conferences just by clicking. This is an internet marketing suite that, that has you can access through the dashboard. You can go right to your YouTube channel. Another video sharing channel. Sharing videos is a great way to uh, get traffic and to get your information out to more people like this video we're doing right here. Here's another video sharing site. Another video sharing control where this one actually creates a video website for you. Skype, of course, most people are using Skype now because it's video conferencing and it's free. You can access that through your dashboard. Uh, a newsletter system where you can send up to 10,000 newsletters per month for free. I mean, all these tools, having access to all these from one dashboard makes it so simple to be able to use all these and then interconnect them and use them all together. Uh, video marketing distribution. This site will you can upload a video to it, and it will actually feed that video out to five other video sharing sites. So by uploading it once, you're distributing your video to five different sites. You can check your Google Analytics right on the dashboard and see exactly how well your website or blog or blog posts are doing. 
Google Calendar, you can access this right on the dashboard and see uh, upcoming appointments, events. You can just at a glance on your dashboard, you can see everything that's going on. Google Alerts, these are fantastic tools to, to search and bring information and have it delivered to you on a daily basis. And then this control brings up just those Google Alerts and allows you to look through those and see if Google's found any information that's useful for you. Creating a customized search engine is a great way to tie together all your social profiles, websites, and blogs. And you can manage that through this control from the dashboard. Sharing PowerPoint presentations, get the PowerPoint presentations get a lot of views and are shared a lot online. And this is a control that takes you to a site where you can share those. This is another control that actually takes you to a stored document in Google Docs that allows you, this one teaches you how to do internet research and, uh, and set up an online profile, but you can actually take this control and use it to connect to any documents that you want. So if you have a company manual or you have certain documents that you use a lot, you can set controls up that will automatically pull those documents up right through the dashboard. Uh, this is allows you to set up and manage events, either online events or offline events, right through the dashboard. This one you can actually create videos online. You just upload a dozen pictures and then it will take those pictures and move around on them and create a video so it actually looks like a video. Then you can take that video and turn around and upload it to all those sharing sites that are also on the dashboard. This is another video sharing control and it will allow you to create a video wall or a jukebox to share your videos. And this is a control that allows you to actually pull up a website right in your dashboard so you can watch and view websites right through your dashboard without having to go to the website. So that was the first page. All those controls are on the start page. Now you can see here we're on page two. Page two is tools. So the start page has tools that you would use almost on a daily basis. You use all the time. Tools are are controls that you that you use but not quite as often so this is the top page of the tools tool control page then here's the middle of the tools and then this is the bottom of the tools and you can see there's a URL shortener uh, you can download videos right off of YouTube using this one you can do voicemail blasting there's a, a control that takes you right to this thesaurus which is great when you're creating content there's a app and widget programming control you can review thousands of different applications and widgets that you can use in your dashboard um, a Chrome browser application control that that shows you hundreds of applications that can be used with the Chrome browser and that you can also use in this dashboard you can resize images right through the dashboard Another, you can create web notes on this tools page, just like on the start page. You can, there's a, this is, this takes you to an SEO chat room where you can go in and learn and listen to all the top SEO people about what's working to drive more traffic to your online business. SEO profile marketing, SEO trainings, Google Places, social media, Google AdWords. This is all available right through the dashboard. Uh, crowd booster, this is a way to bring crowds to your social media or to bring more people to your social media and then it also tracks analytics and let you know, lets you know how you're doing. Guru is a great site that has a control that where you can go and so hire subcontractors to help you with they everything from writing a PowerPoint presentation to telemarketing. I mean, you can find any kind of subcontractor that you would need around the world you can find using this. Business search control or a company search. This is a great control that does a much more detailed search than Google and brings back information that you would never find on Google in regards to companies and then people within those companies. Keyword to help you find the right keywords when you're posting. You can change with this control, you can change the file extension from a .jpeg to a .bmp or an Excel to Word or however you want to change the file extension. You can do that here. You can actually 
create and edit images right online, not on your computer, right online using this control. This one you can translate from one language to another right on your dashboard. This one provides alarms and stopwatches if you want to track your time on something that you're working on. A currency converter. This one uh, takes you right to the top message boards where you can go into a search and find all the message boards in your industry and find out what people are talking about and maybe even find some customers through that. This one will take domain names and let you know what they're worth. This one, with this, you can host conference calls for free with up to 96 people. This one is an, actually a feed that rifles through all the top articles that this technology considers to be important on this update feed. Same here for information technology feed. There's a dashboard calculator, so you can actually do calculations right on your dashboard without having to hunt around for your calculator. This one, you can run financial canal calculations on your dashboard, mortgage payments, uh, uh, time and money payments. This control here takes you to another page where you have over 50 different calculators, a Roth versus a traditional IRA, compound interest, investment, credit score, just any kind of ca calculator that you can imagine is available to you through this one. This control takes you to an article that has the top 100 most useful sites of 2012. I mean, any information that you would use on an ongoing basis is available through this dashboard. Here's a, a control that takes that does a search of Google Books, where you can search Google's entire library of books and then either buy, rent, or just borrow those books and read them. This control um, helps you Actually, what it does is it installs the software that you need to do a six-person video conference. Oftentimes, you'll try to do the video conference, and they'll say, well, you need this plug-in, or you need this, or you know, your computer's not ready to do it. With this control, it sets up your computer so you won't have those issues. You use this control, and you're ready to go to start doing six-person video conferences that very next minute. Craigslist, it'll do auto searches of Craigslist and bring back results to you on a daily basis. This control will search the internet for, if you write an article, you can put it in here and it will search and make sure that no one else is using the content from your article without, you know, without giving you credit. So that was the tools page. Then there's the social media page. And you can see here, the social media page, there's, an, there's a, a live feed from Twitter, from Facebook, and from LinkedIn. And just by clicking on the social media page, without having to log in to any of those accounts, you can see live what's happening on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn right from your dashboard. And then this is page two, which gives you direct access to some other social media sites and then there's also Flickr where it will actually pull in your images from Flickr and scroll through those so you can see the different images that you've uploaded and then you can see here there's a social search where you can put in your name your company name and it will do a Facebook search or a Twitter search or both and let you know if your name or your company is ever talked about on those social networks and if it is bring you those results and then this is the bottom just more controls for that social media page. These are the, I briefly covered these, but here's the Twitter feed control. The auto updater is also on this page. The uh, Biznick, it takes you to that social network. The Twitter control, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, uh, social search where you can do searches for all kinds of videos, images, Anything that you would need, you can find through this social search control, Facebook in dash, Twitter feed search, Facebook feed search, Google News on social media, where it will do a feed of all the latest news on Google that applies to social media, a LinkedIn dashboard feed, LinkedIn groups, where you can actually use this control to go and sift through all the groups on LinkedIn and see which ones maybe you should join. And if your industry is missing a group you think you should have, you can actually create one. Same with Google. Google has groups similar to LinkedIn. Using this control, it'll take you right to Google's groups, and you can go through those and see which ones apply to your industry and maybe start one if there's some that are missing. Flickr we talked about right in the dashboard. Then there's another dashboard, which is over here on the right. You can see the arrow that points to advertising. 
And on this page, we've got Twitter advertising, LinkedIn advertising, Google AdWords, Facebook, local advertising, international classified ads. All these controls take you directly to those places at, or, or bring the content into you to your dashboard to let you know all these different kinds of advertising that are available to you online. So you can see any business person, small or large business, this dashboard would provide so much value in managing all of your online information and communications. Here's the bottom of the advertising controls. And then the news, of course, here we have Seattle Times, LA Times, New York Times. You've got the Wall Street Journal, USA Today. This is every newspaper in the world right here. We've got the weather for Seattle. I mean, this is the news page right here. Um, and as I said, most of these are customizable. Then this is uh, content. This actually helps you in your industry when you need to create content. You've got your keywords here. You can convert PDFs to Word docs. You can unlock PDFs. You can create logos. There's all kinds of free icons. There's another link to thesaurus. So you can find additional words that you might want to use while creating content. So in creating content, having this dashboard, this page in this dashboard open, this can help you so much and save you so much time when you're working and creating content. Then you can go back to the social media page and distribute that content that you've created all over the internet. These are the bottom controls, the document to PDF. Then there's some feeds on content marketing, RSS feeds for content marketing. So that was really fast going through that, but I think it shows you how powerful a dashboard like this can be, especialized, especially when it's all customized with all of your information, all your voice, all your data, all your email, all your text messaging, all your video conferencing, everything that you do, and business is more and more becoming a cloud-based business, everyone is, all of that is available through one dashboard. You log into one place, you can log in on your iPhone, your iPad, your Droid, your laptop, your, your desktop at your office, doesn't matter, wherever you log in, you have everything right there at your fingertips. For more information, you can go to greatbusinesstraining.com or you can email me at uh, info at dennyadenya.com.